Hello everyone, this is uh, Your Majesty Gaming here, and well, Chase Elliott wins, and that was awesome, and obviously the best weekend in NASCAR, I would say, this year by far, besides maybe Bristol or Chicagoland. I mean, Daytona was fun too, but you always expect that Daytona, so it's like... And then, Monday, I find out this. Brian Friends is arrested for a DUI and having some kind of damn pills. I can't remember what kind. I don't know if he's addicted to them or what, but... Good job, dumbass. Good job. Every time... Can you, can you manage to not be a dumbass for more than five seconds? I mean, we finally get something that's good for a fucking sport, and your dumbass fucking ruins it by drinking and fucking driving and all this other bullshit. Can somebody please fire this dumbass motherfucker already? This, this motherfucker is literally the stupidest fucking person of all time. I mean, he's so fucking stupid. Can somebody please fire this dumbass already? Literally nobody wants him as the chairman of NASCAR. Nobody. We fucking despise that dumbass prick. He literally doesn't fucking know jack shit. I mean, my god, a fucking squirrel could run NASCAR better than him. That's how fucking stupid he is. I mean, my god. It's funny that he took over in 2003. Anyone else notice how when he changed it to the chase format, it slowly started getting worse and worse? Yeah. We all know who we have that to thank. Thanks a lot, Brian Friends. Biggest dumbass of the year. And yes, I'm wearing my Camo Dale Jr. hat. With pride. I haven't had the chance to get Chase Elliott hats, but I actually just got one this weekend. It's kind of funny. Maybe I should start buying his hats every weekend so I win. <laughs> but I, I have like a few 164 diecasts of his, but I can't just get those diecasts all the time. They're like $50 a pop, man. It's hard enough to get just one of them. Hoping my Truex Homestead pre-order comes soon because I paid 70 fucking bucks for that and it better come. Or somebody's going to get bitch slapped. But. <sighs> Brian fucking France, man. Really, bro? I'm assuming he didn't have watched the videos in high school or pay attention when people told him not to drink and drive and how it can devastate your life. Somebody please fire this dumbass. If this dumbass literally stays after all this... I swear to God, I am going to fucking lose my mind. I'm going to start a tw tweet on Twitter, hashtag fire Brian France, and everyone should fucking re retweet it. Justice for Haley never got the attention it deserved, but damn it, fire Brian France better. Look, we can all agree this guy's a prick. Where do you agree that Larson won that race or Haley? We can all agree that Brian France is an absolute dumbass. Whether you're a junior fan or whatever, we no matter if you like or dislike Junior or dislike Gordon or, or whatever you support, we can all agree that Brian France is an absolute moron. Please, for the love of God, stop ruining our sport. Just stop. Just go away. Please. Don't kill yourself or nothing like that. Just, just stay out of NASCAR. You're not a good leader. You haven't been for 15 fucking years. You've literally ruined our fucking sport. You're wondering why it's fucking declining. It's all these dumbass shit you're fucking doing. I mean, I could... There's so much shit you've done. Changing the points format was one thing. I mean, dude, the stands were fucking packed. Look at the 2002 Bristol Night Race. And look at how fucking packed it was. And look at it now. Now, yes, it was rain-delayed, mind you, but still. I think this shows 
how much of an idiot Brian France is and why this moron has a fucking job is beyond me. He's done nothing to make this sport better. He's drove it in the fucking ground. Both Bill Francis will be rolling in her fucking grave if they knew what this dumbass prick has done to this sport. You're literally the biggest dumbass of all time. Oh, and you probably screwed Jeremy Mayfield over. We So, Jeremy Mayfield can't come back in the sport, but this dumbass who literally created the Road to Recovery program needs to get in it his own fucking self. Practice what you fucking preach, you fucking idiotic cunt. Fuck you. You're literally the dumbest fucking prick of all time. Oh, God. If he doesn't get fired, I swear to God, we riot. Like, this is, this is the final straw. This motherfucker better be fired. Because this is some fuck shit. Like, really? If y'all don't fire him, I swear to God, I'm really thinking about not watching. Like, y'all need to fire that fucked hard. He's already ruined the sport enough as it is. I mean, this is the last straw. Like, we've had enough of his shit. We've had it. We've had enough. Please fire this dumbass and let somebody who actually has a fucking functioning brain run the damn sport. Because this dumbass has done nothing good for it. The ratings are constantly declining. And then Kenny Wallace wants to blab and talk about, oh, NASCAR's doing great. Kenny, you're fucking in denial. You're, you're a, I'm sure you're a nice guy and all. But it ain't what it used to be, Kenny. This ain't about how racing's changed over the years. This is about ratings. It's no and with Dell Jr., Tony Stewart, and Jeff Gordon retiring, we need drivers like Chase Elliott to succeed. And we don't need it to be overshadowed by the so called owner, leader of NASCAR getting arrested for drunk driving. Fuck you for overshadowing Chase Elliott's win, you fucking prick. Honestly. Congrats to Chase Elliott, though. Much love to my boy Chase Elliott. I can't believe I even have to waste my time making a video on this, but fuck it. Everyone else is doing it, so fuck it. I figured I'd put my input because I feel like it's time that we fire Brian France. We, the fans, need to make a petition, retweet on Twitter, whatever. It, it's time for this guy to get the hell out of our sport. He's done enough to ruin it. I'm sick of this self-righteous fucktard driving it in the fucking ground. And he wants people in NASCAR to not do drugs, yet he fucking does them. What a great leader, Brian. Yeah, you're such a great leader. Fuck you. You deserve to be fired from your job immediately. You know it, and we all know it. Step down, do the world a favor, and stay the fuck out of NASCAR. Nobody fucking wanted you to take over. Nobody has liked any of the motherfucking changes that you have done. You're wondering why NASCAR constantly fucking loses fans because of all this stupid shit you fucking do. Nobody needed a fucking chase to enjoy NASCAR. It was doing fantastic, even under the old format. And sure, the first few years of the chase, it was still doing pretty good. But that was it. Don't fix something that ain't broke, dumbass. Don't you got a damn brain? Apparently not. I mean, Jesus, man. And don't even get me started on the whole restrictor plate below the yellow line rule. That ain't done a bit of good. All it's done is take wins away from people like Regan Smith, Brennan Poole, and most recently, Justin Haley. I don't know who invented that rule, but... Fuck them. Because that's the stupidest fucking rule ever. I'm bored of this shit. This is my opinion. Congrats to Chase Elliott on the win. And congrats to MTJ on finishing second. My two favorite drivers finishing the top two. So that's pretty fucking awesome. But. <sighs> yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a tweet called hashtag fire Brian France. So hopefully y'all do that. And. Retweet, like, get the word out there. Y'all have a good day, and Brian France, I hope you get the help you need with your problems, but you need to get the fuck out of NASCAR because you, you're not good at running it. You haven't been good at running it for nearly two fucking decades. Y'all dumbass needs to go on somewhere because you, you, you just need to go. Go.
Nobody literally wants you. Hell, I bet a lot of drivers don't even want your dumb ass running a damn sport because you ain't got enough sense in your damn brain to do nothing. Make all these stupid ass pit rules or caution clock, damage clock, garage rules. Let them work on the cars in the garage and get back out there. Let them compete for points. What the hell ever happened to that shit? I mean, there's so much dumb shit going on, and I hate these current cars, man. Like, shit. We didn't need the fanciest fucking cars to enjoy NASCAR. But, you know, whatever. I could go on. Like, why does Ryan Priest not have a full-time ride, but that dipshit that ain't got no damn talent, Brandon Jones has one. What the fuck's that dipshit doing in a full-time ride? That dipshit can't drive for nothing. Had two full seasons in a good RCR ride and didn't do jack shit with it but tear up cars. He's like the Scott Riggs of the Xfinity series. He didn't do jack shit. I mean, he's a, he reminds me of Scott Riggs. Didn't do nothing but tear up cars and drive like shit his whole career. Just that he did it in the Xfinity series. Brandon Jones did, and Scott Riggs did it, obviously, in the Monster Energy Cup series is what it's called now. So, anyway, I'm going to stop yapping. This video's gone on long enough, so... Uh, please. Please fire her, Brian France. We can't take it anymore. This dumbass is literally... Please, God, just fire her. You have no fucking excuse. I mean, he... Would any would any other normal person be able to keep their job if they got a DUI or some shit like that? No. Okay. I'm done. Y'all have a good day, and I'm going to try to upload another NASCAR 2003 career video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more gaming content. Diecast reviews and all that good shit. I'm done. Peace.